audio visualization tool yes you can create your personal audio visualization app yes an app using python but how many lines of code 100 um in this case i'm sorry it will take 35 lines of code so 10 into 3.5 lines of code requirements python and many python libraries PyAudio, NumPy, Matplotlib, and TakeInter. You can install those using pip install TakeInter, pip install PyAudio, pip install Matplotlib. That's it. How the program works? Your default mic starts recording, creates a new window to show plot of the measuring frame rate, takes binary data, convert to integers, make up NP array, offset it by 127 and 128. So it's a lot to take in. And finally, update on the canvas. Source code. First, we'll import uh, so many libraries PyAudio, OS, Truct, NumPy, Matplotlib, Time, and finally, our GUI tool, TickInter. So, first, we will do with constants, chunk, format, channels, read, as we have previously worked on Voice Decoder tool. So, and the next, we are working with Matplotlib to figure. Uh, we are giving 15 to 7 and pi audio tool p equals to pi audio dot pi audio you have learned this in the pi audio section i mean a voice recorder section so next streaming the object to get data from microphone if you take a look in the github repository you can understand the code because i have explained each and every line individually so format channels and all are the same as we have created in the in this constants so we will go to variable and plotting so it's all about matplotlib if you know understand matplotlib then this is very uh, easy code to understand so line equals to ax dot plot and we'll use random in the next section basic formatting for the axis so ax we are taking as ax so ax set title audio waveform you can change everything if you want it and in the next step we will plot and print stream started and as soon as it started we can give the voice input and the uh, plot will be updating on the canvas so frame count equals to zero as we have to start time time dot time we have set previously and this is the binary data and integer data np array about this i hope you understand all those but still let me explain data equals to stream dot read chunk as we have set the chunk value and data int it just converting the integer uh, i mean uh, binary value to integer value so to start chunk plus b and data so data equals to np you know np dot array creates np array and we are giving a, a space of 2 plus 128 so line dot set y data data dot np we have created the variable in the previous line and line dot set y data and try we will try to figure the drawing so we will try if it's not working then it would just out without showing an error so try that and accept if it's not happening then we will calculate frame rate and frame rate by time that's that sort of thing so at the last we will print stream stopped print average frame rate so let's show you the demo so we have the source code in a folder we will do nothing just run it and a new window will be open okay as you can see the audio form and we have said all this so let's give it a try uh, I hope you understand that music. Let's talk about open source contributing. Any kind of contribution to this repository are welcome. To do so, fork this repository, create your feature branch, commit to your changes, push to the branch, and open a pull request. And you can be officially a member of QX Research or Mozilla Campus Club by joining Mozilla Group and Telegram Group. Both the links are in the description and start development and research with QX Research.